This is Amy. So, uh, Amy, just tell me what's going on that's bringing you in here today. Um, so, I've been having um, an issue with my voice probably more frequently in the past uh, two to three years where um, if I were to sing a lot or uh, speak in a higher voice, a louder voice, for any significant amount of time, I almost completely lose or and definitely strain my lower register. I would almost completely lose my ability to speak low and clear, my tone and my um, volume kind of disappear in my lower register. And what does that sensation feel like? It feels like I'm getting closed in on. Uh -huh. um, if it's not rasp, it's uh -huh. not like it's clogged. Uh -huh. It's like if your nasal passages were to get clogged, yeah. were to get tighter. Uh -huh. That's what that feels like. Okay. So that right now, if I'm talking nice and low, as I'm trying to, or to you know, want it, if I were to sound like that low, clear, uh -huh. yeah, it's this is exactly what it is. Okay. okay. So go ahead and do, go ahead and do the scale for me again. Uh, yeah. So that would probably be an if I were really uh, tense and if I had been singing for a while. Uh, I can hear it now, yeah. but it would happen on a higher note. Cool. So go ahead and take a deep breath in for me, please. So, um, where she has to use muscles that are not necessarily meant for normal breathing, these are called accessory muscles of breathing. She's using muscles on the front called her scalenes, her sternocleidomastoid, and her trapezius muscles, which are actually all going to help her because her ribs don't expand as much, so she uses her neck muscles to try to help get more air in or to expand her rib cage. I'm just trying to stretch her diaphragm out a little bit. Take a deep breath in right to my hands if you can. And let it go. So I'm just trying to get her ribs and her sternum to actually loosen and have the ability to expand better. Go ahead and breathe in again um, while she takes a deep breath so that way her breath can be more efficient. Okay, and now what I want you to do is I want you to take a deep breath into my hand right, right here. Good, and now blow it out all the way. Blow it out all the way, good. Deep breath in for me. And out. And out. Does that feel for you? Better. Yeah? How so? Yeah. I just, I feel, I feel more relaxed. I feel like my breath's from a, is a little richer, deeper here. Okay. And less here. Okay, so now I'm just going to start working through some of her uh, neck muscles that have become tight from being overused when she tries to take deep breaths and kind of strain to sing. Head to the left for me, and now back to the middle, and just keep doing that back and forth. Now I want you to go ahead and take a deep breath in for me, and let it go. Go ahead and press your elbow down for me, good, and let it go. Okay, now I'm working on the muscles on the underside of her jaw, which are involved with opening the mouth, and again, they can become very tense when you're straining and trying to uh, struggle to kind of get uh, either vocalization or singing out. So now I'm assessing actually um, between her muscles and actually seeing does her trachea have the ability to move from side to side. And what I feel is that her trachea is pulled somewhat to the right. I'm going to just kind of put some tension on there and try to do a few things to loosen that up. So can you just tuck your chin down and then back up. So now I'm going to be treating more where her vocal cords are. <laughs> going to do some things to try to stimulate her vocal cords. Okay. It feels, it feels so much better. I mean, that low note is probably the border of yeah, your range. Yeah, would be normal. Yeah, right now, this this particular low, clear, relaxed speaking voice I didn't have two hours ago. Um, I would have had to raise my pitch and my tone to achieve this. I, I, I just, if this is my dream voice right now. I feel like I can, I can speak quietly and get my point across. All treatments are followed up with exercise prescription, postural re-education, and breathing retraining, incorporating all of these into any vocal exercises you may already be doing to make sure that effects of treatment are long-lasting. For more information about vocal treatment with Elliot Fishbein, visit www.fishbeinphysicaltherapy.com.